quite nice. Recently, I've shown you this first aid kit, this body of first aid kit. I thought today I'll show you my add on first aid kit. This is the first aid stuff. I don't fit in this pouch. I didn't explain that in the last one, so I do apologize about that. But this here lives in my work sack. There's a lot bigger stuff than what's in here, like bigger bandages and everything like that. I'll go through that with you now so you can see it all. As you can see, it is in one of my resealable vacuum seal bags. I still recommend these. 110 percent this has been sealed for i don't know how long now ages and it's still solid there's still nothing in it no air in it apart from where it says burn gel that's it just the burn gel packet right let's go for it shall we it's not bubbling. it is awkward for me to get into sometimes but it never is we have a comfort bandage one of the five by four meters Let's get the big thing out of the way because you've all seen it already. I do carry another barn gel um, packet in here or barn gel dressing, I should say. I still I carry another barn bag in here. I do have a friends lens in here. I carry that because I can see if there's anything deeper or anything dark in the wound. I should have went through. We have one of these in my main body of my first aid kit. This more time I haven't put it in because I truly forgot. So I will add one of them here. I have added some more moleskin, some gloves, actual sterilised nitro, nitro, I can't say the word, but they're not sterilised so much, but they're better than the ones I've got in my main body, my first aid kit. I have some alcohol swabs, what, 70%. I've just put these in because I don't usually use them, but there's a sort of sorted amount of different types of plasters. Some smaller band dressings. They're good to have. I recommend every single thing where you can get with barn stuff. I recommend because barns are the things what really cause more problem in the long run. Because of barn you get my drift. Apart from if you've got a massive cut and you're bleeding up fast. And you're bleeding up, yeah. That's gonna hurt more if it's a deep cut. I have some of the, I have another iPad, I have another triangular bandage, the same again, I don't really need this, but I'll put it in this kit as much as in my own normal first aid kit, because I think it's a good idea to have, even if you don't need it and you've got some other things to have. I do have, as you can see, it's say I carry a lot of these, I do carry another emergency foil blanket. They're not called space blankets because, I can't explain it, it's not a space blanket. Space blankets are and nothing compared to these. You can't buy a space blanket, that's all I'm saying. I do have some of these low adhesive absorbent dressings in here, as well as I do have a gorge pad in here. I do have some large or extra large bandages, so I'm going to put them back because they're painting the bum to put in. Out. I do have a large dressing bandage in here as well. And I got a paint, and I got a lot of jobs to put back for you guys. <laughs> I got another um, gorge water pad, some larger fine dressings. I do have some of these non woven swab like pouches. There is four, there's a four ply. And these are 10 by 10, so they're good to have as well, in my opinion. And I have another low, um, low adhesive dressing pad. It's that one there is 10 by 10. Now, everything. Is in that little bag. I carry that one separately in my rucksack because basically all this stuff is bigger stuff it's not going to fit in that little first aid pouch and I knew I needed it so I did it I made it up and now it's fantastic because I have it in my rucksack at all times and it's a quick easy access to get to as well it's not like it's going to be a struggle for me. Right let me pack all this up and I'll come back to you. Right guys, this is everything all back into back up. So it's all ready to go, all ready to go back into my work truck. So we appreciate every single one of you. We appreciate every sec every minute of every second you go us. Please join us here at Plymouth Friends and please like the video. And we'll see you soon. Bye bye.